So, welcome to Salt Nation TV. In today's episode, I'm going to go and uh, see my friend Sean and replace my brake discs and pads. I say I'm going to replace them. No, Sean's going to replace them for me. So I've arrived at my destination. I'm uh, here at Sean's house and he's stood just off camera by his lovely R53. And this is Sean who's helping me with my brake disc and pad replacement today in front of his lovely, lovely R53. I mean, he doesn't want me to show you the front end because it's gone a little bit hobo because of wind. But I mean, there's something to say about a missing hood scoop. I like it a lot. Unfortunately, neither myself nor Sean can afford a big brake kit. They're quite expensive. And so I've opted for some better grooved and drilled discs for the standard R53 brakes. I've also got some Brembo pads to go on the front. And uh, let's see what's in the box. Oh, m -Tech. Excellent. And ooh, this is not that heavy, so this must be a rear disc. Look at that, lovely rear disc, beautiful. What else have we got? Another rear disc, ooh. This will be one of the fronts and it's certainly heavier. Beast, that is a beast. Beast of a disc for a standard R53 brake setup. Excellent. And there should be one more. There's a little box of brake pads just there. But here's the last. And there we go. Nice. So, all four discs. cycling through fucking Alan heads. <laughs> Rear disc, here we go. <laughs> so, 
rear pads coming Sean's way. Let's open that. I'm doing this with one hand is uh, a ball ache. Add. Let's hope I can stop better now. Yeah, I'm right, definitely off. Okay. Yeah. As you can see, I'm not sat in my Mini. The R53 did not get me home from having its brakes done. And I'll tell you why. <sighs> so whilst removing the rear brake discs from the calipers, um, it became quite apparent that there was something not quite right. Now, one had a slight issue with, with resetting the piston, the passenger side. But on the driver's side, not only did we find that the disc had warped, uh, the retaining screw had been sawn off, and the piston was absolutely screwed, which might be the reason I've had some slight sort of squeakings and that sort of sound from the back of the car, because checking the hubs over and everything like that, it's been absolutely fine. I had to leave the R53 in Sean's garage. <sighs> and like a, a 16 year old that's got drunk underage and has then had to call a parent to essentially bail them out. Oh, Dad, I'm so drunk, I can't get home. That sort of thing. Um, I had to ring my father, Steve, to come and pick me up and drive me back home, which considering I live in Exeter and Sean lives in Plymouth and my dad lives in Cornwall was a bit of a pain in the bum. But I got a lift home. Thankfully, I've got my daily, which is a 63 plate Volkswagen Golf. It's a diesel, but it's been remapped. It's quite nice to drive. So I've got something. It's not the end of the world. I've got I've got my daily, I've got a car that I can drive, but it, it is disappointing from a filming point of view. Am I disappointed that neither myself or Sean could, could sort out the brake situation? Yes, I'm very disappointed. Also, I'm out of pocket again because I'm gonna have to, well, I say gonna have to, I've already ordered two new calipers for the rear to go on. Um, so, you know, the next video you'll see or maybe the next instalment of this video, you'll see a uh, a jubilant me picking up my my R53 and, and driving off into the sunset in it. Maybe not, but you know, it'll be more R53 related content. Thank you for watching Salt Nation TV. This episode has been a disappointment on many levels, not just for you watching it, but for me trying to film it in a really bitty way. And, uh, until the next time, I've been me, you've been you, and well done for that. <laughs>